rolling, check. Coming up on Off the Hardwood, Paul Jones visits Raptors forward Morris Peterson at his waterfront pad, where he takes in a Michigan State game, talks about growing up in Flint, winning an NC2A championship, and what's it like trying to guard Michael Jordan. Welcome to another edition of Off the Hardwood. I'm your host, Paul Jones, and today we are nowhere near the hardwood, actually. We're hanging out with the second-year man from the Toronto Raptors, Mo Pete. And Mo, thanks for having us over to your place, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, what's it like, man? You're, you're in a whole new country now. It's the second <laughs> year uh, away from home. I know you were a, a five-year college player. Tell us about your adjustment to Toronto. Well, um, it really hasn't been much different. I mean, obviously the NBA life and the college life, you know, are, are different. But um, my parents, everybody get it, still get a chance to come to my games. Um, I'm, I'm on my own right now, so I guess that's the biggest difference. You know, when I was in college, whenever I wanted to go home, I could go home, you know, and get a good home-cooked meal. But um, I'm having fun, you know, doing what I like doing, playing basketball, um, living my life, and um, just enjoying myself. I was kind of surprised to see that there was no one here because I know your family are, are really important in your life and they come up to visit you a lot. What about the influence of your mom and dad? I know they were both athletes too. Is that, am I right in saying that? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they both were athletes. Um, uh, they really taught me a lot, uh, not only about you know, athletics, but you know, a lot about life. You know, my parents, I grew up with um, both teachers in the house. So, I mean, they always stress education, education, education. So, I, mean, I knew from day one, that I was gonna have to get a college degree, or, or you know, my father used to always tell me, you know, Morris, when you turn 18, you're gonna have to get out the house and do something. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I found basketball early on, in sports. You know, I always stayed involved because, you know, I was a competitor just from, from day one. You know, I, I told myself when I was five years old, I was gonna be in the NBA. You have two sisters, <laughs> and you know, a guy growing up with two sisters, what was that like? It was tough. <laughs> it was tough. Believe, hey. A lot of people grow up with, you know, older brother. I grew up with older sisters. So they were, I think they were more hard on me than a brother would be, you know, because, I mean, we used to compete in everything, you know, see who could, you know, we get out the car, see who can run to the, to the porch the fastest. I mean, everything in the house was real competitive. And my mother then used to egg it on and, you know, you know, encourage it. So because, you know, for me personally, you know, I was the youngest, so I used to follow my sisters around. But whenever I wanted something, I used to brag. <laughs> so they used to make a, a conscious effort to beat me just so they couldn't, I couldn't brag. Now, they were basketball players too? Yeah. yeah. Um, Where did they play? Um, my oldest sister played at Alabama State. She, she played there for four years. My other sister played at Alabama State for a couple years. Then she transferred to Dillard University and um, she stopped playing basketball. But, you know, we still going to Jerry every, every now and then and she, I mean, she still has it. So what are they doing now, your sisters? Um, <laughs> It's kind of ironic because both of them are teachers. One, uh, my oldest sister, Tonda, she lives in Houston, Texas. Uh, she's a teacher. She's been teaching for about seven years, six years. And my um, other sister, she's two, year, two and a half years older than me. She's teaching back at home in Flint. This is her first year, so she's really enjoying it. Now, you talk about Flint. Uh, at one time at Michigan State, you had four of you from Flint, yourself, Mateen, uh, Andre, they were, they, all you guys from Flint. Uh, how did that work out? Um, it was good. It was good having people that I grew up with in school because, you know, I mean, my team, Charlie, you know, Antonio, all us, we, um, you know, we grew up together as kids. Our parents all knew each other. So we were always being in the gym, you know, I would see, like, my first time seeing my team, I was like seven years old and he was in the gym. We were playing the tender in the game and I was looking at him like, I mean, this guy is good, you know, he, he's good, you know, and I mean, it's, it was just kind of strange, all going to the same school, but growing up, we, we talked about it. You know, you know, what if we went to the same school? And I mean, it's, everything worked out. I had fun in college, was able to share that experience with them. And um, you know, we just, we're all like brothers. Well, it's a Saturday afternoon. 
Your boys, you're wearing your colors. Your boys are on TV inside. So why don't we go inside, talk a little bit about Michigan State, and we'll get a chance for you to watch your team. Okay. All right. Cool. We'll be back. Stay with us. We're heading in to watch the game. You have to have the snacks when you're watching the game. When you watch the Michigan State game, you know, see, I got the cookies, you know, the Pepsi, the, you know, to Tostitos with the salsa, you know, just sit back, relax, watch the game, enjoy it, you know. <laughs>